So welcome students, our topic for today is measures of dispersal. What are the measures of dispersal? The prerequisite is you should have clear concept of measures of the central tendencies and what are the central tendencies? Mean, median, mode, geometric mean and harmonic mean. So these are called the measures of central tendency. You should have clear concept of these concept uh, these uh, terminologies or these measures and secondly you should have the formula formula of these measures at your fingertips then you will be able to understand measures of dispersion and compute measures of dispersion so revise it from your book or you can go to my earlier videos i have discussed measures of dispersion in detail i have discussed mean median mode GMHM all the methods of computing mean median mode so I advise you to go through those videos and understand them well, well before starting with measures of dispersion so let's start our study what is measure of dispersion see when we have a data let's say we have this data 2 4 6 8 10 12 and let's say 1 also let's say we have this data we know that median is this because 3 data is to this side and 3 to this side. 6 lies exactly in the middle of this distribution. So this is median. This we know. We want to see what is the median then uh, sorry what is the mean then we will add all of them and divide them by 7. That will be uh, you know mean. Then we know how, what is mode and everything geometric mean and harmonic mean. What they tell us? They tell us that the data is centered around this this is the point where the data is centered let's try to visualize it visualize it we have a line the data is distributed along this line okay measures of central tendency tell you about this part that the majority of the data or the measures are centered here this is measure of central tendency but the data is also over here let's assume this is a bench let's say this is a boundary wall over which people are sitting so there may be one or two people sitting here then we have three four five people sitting here maybe many people are sitting in the middle and we have one someone uh, sitting here someone sitting here so if you take the average you will find something around this part if the total number we add and divided by n this will be mean median will also be around this region only and mode will be around this region so when you have central tendencies the measures of central tendencies you actually get the picture of this part but we have data here also and here also that is the data is scattered throughout the first and the last available data so that scatteredness is basically dispersion dispersion means scatteredness the data has some variability it varies from here to here so when we study measures of central tendency we study about this where is the data centered and when we, when we study dispersion we study this part the variability part how much it is dispersed from its central values that is what we study in the uh, you know measures of dispersion what we will study what is the scope of our study first we will study what is range second we will study what is quartile deviation then we will study what is mean deviation And finally, we will study standard deviation. Let's see how many of these topics we are able to cover in one video. But what will I, what I'll do? I'll explain. These are very small concepts. These, this, and this mean deviation and standard deviation. This is the main topic. So, what we I'll do? I'll explain to you 
each and every topic and along with the topic i'll give some examples i'll solve some examples so that these uh, measures so that these measures are very clear in your mind so let's start with first topic that is range what is range this is a topic which we use almost every day in our you know usual talking so let's start with the first measure that is range what is range every day we say we use this term like we say uh, my range is now very limited i cannot go beyond 4 kilometers while walking or we say the range of this missile is this much 1000 kilometers range is actually the if we in terms of statistics in pure mathematical statistical terms let's say we have data we have n number of observations then the we have one value which is the lowest among amongst these n number of data we will have one value which will have the lowest value and we will have one observation which will have the highest value so the highest value minus the lowest value that is called range so if we have data x1 x2 to xn we say it xi and let's say the highest value is xh and lowest value is xl then the range is xh minus xl simple so for example let's take an example to understand how this is not a very tough concept but let's take an example let's say we have these data 1 2 4 6 8 10 12 50 and we have to find the range what will be the range range will be the highest value that is 15 minus the lowest value that is 1 so this is 14 So this is the range. Like we say, the range of certain missile is 1,000 kilometers. What it means? It means it if fired from zero to 1,000 kilometers, it can go from zero to 1,000 kilometers. This is range. Practically, it's not from zero. Every missile has certain limit, uh, you know, minimum range also. So if certain missile let's say its range is minimum range is 5 kilometers and maximum is 1005 so the range is 1000 kilometers so this is about the range this is very simple concept now second topic that we'll understand is called quartile deviation the second topic is quartile deviation this is the second measure of dispersion you all have studied quartiles at your school level in class 7th 8th 9th what is quartile i'm just giving you i'm briefing you what is a quartile then we'll see what is quartile deviation or let me say quartile deviation q is given by half q3 minus q1 where q3 and q1 are the third and first quartiles respectively what are quartiles let's say we have a you know a certain number of observations 1 2 4 5 6 7 9 10 11 12 okay which is the median we have this is the median this is median we have four data to this side and four data to to this side if we start from here to the median then the median in between this is called the first quartile so let's say this is our range then median for this will be 4 so this is quartile 1 similarly bit the midway between this the median bit of this this is 10 this is called q3 this is the third quartile 75% 25% so this way we find quartiles so if we have this data and we have to find the quartile deviation q will be equal to 1 by 2 q3 q3 is 10 minus q1 that is 4 this is 6 by 2 that is 3 so the quartile deviation is 3 so this tells us about the it gives an idea of the scatteredness of data if we have to find the range range of this distribution is 12 minus 1 that is 11 so 11 is the range now we get quartile deviation as 3 so we have narrowed down so this is how we find quartile deviations 
these two methods range and quartile deviations these are very simple methods but they are not very reliable quartile deviation is somewhat better than range but these measures are not for sophisticated uh, mathematical analysis when we do mathematical analysis analysis we actually use mean deviation and standard deviations these are very crude methods very simple methods but these we need to understand so that we are able to understand mean deviation and standard deviation okay